Hello, good people. How are you all doing? I hope you all are well. Welcome to Brown Bag Tarot. We're about to tear open somebody's bag right here, right now, together. Okay? As I prepare you all's cards, hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. All right, because we're about to tear open the cancer's bag right here, right now. Today is March 14th, 2022, but this is for whenever you need to hear it. All right? It's for the cancer. Wherever you have cancer in your placements. Surprise! All right. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Please show me the cancer's energy. Show me their person's energy. Boom. And then show me where they meet in the middle. Cancer, if you need to reverse the placements, you do that. I split them up so I don't get confused. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Show me the cancer's energy, please, for this time. Be your best self always. Seek beauty. All right. It might be time for you to do like a little makeover. You know, get your hair done. Buy your new hat. You know, maybe get you some new uh, gear. Go to the gym. Join a workout class. Uh, take swimming lessons. Go somewhere, meditate. Get in the moonlight. Sit down, be quiet. That, I feel like that'll really be good for you. Sit down under the moonlight. I believe that the full moon is on the 18th. All right, absolutely. Get into the full moonlight. Sit down, be, be quiet, Cancer. <laughs> under the moonlight. Meditate. All right? The person. Mm. Celebrate differences. And show your support. Expansion. And what's the surprise? Intuition. A lot of people are pulling this card. Intuition. Yeah, I feel like it's a need for you, Cancer, like I said, to get re-inspired. Get near some water or in the moonlight or something. I feel like that'll just recharge all of your senses. I feel like if you got quiet somewhere, especially if you were um, on vacation somewhere under the moonlight in some water in the beach in the pool, or if you can't make that happen, you know, just take a bath under the moonlight or, you know, when you take your bath, open up the windows so you can see the moon or something to that effect. I feel like that will just recharge everything about you and your person is because you are a moon child you are changeable okay you're changeable you're moody okay um your person is beginning to understand that okay and they're beginning to um realize that's a part of who you are with this show your support card they're like listen my person even though they're moody as a mother okay they still sweet they're sweetheart still you know i just have to realize who i'm dealing with and they're really beginning to realize who they're dealing with okay the moody moon child bless your heart hey listen i have cancer in significant placements okay i am on the cancer cusp of Gemini, Cancer Cusp. So me being a Gemini, being the twins, okay, and being on the cusp of Cancer, being exceptionally changeable by the moon. Oh, man, what? Yeah, so this resonates with me. Mm-hmm. So let's get into it here. Where are we going with this? This is kind of lighthearted energy. Let's go here. Yeah, the person is realizing who they're dealing with. The moon child. Okay. And they're coming to terms with it. They're okay with it. They're like, wow, I get it. And that's going to make your relationship a lot better. All right, let's clarify some energy for the cancer, please. Thank you, Spirit. Now, listen, you can't be overly emotional either, Cancer. You can't take for granted that since your person knows that you are moody and changeable, that 
you just go on the ziggity boom with the overlook. Emotional. You can't do that. You still have to temper your emotions. That's why it says be your best self always. Show me the Cancer's energy, please. Thank you. Two of Cups. I like it. That's the Cancer specific. Like I said, Two of Cups, Five of Wands. Five of Swords. Excuse me. Two of Cups, Five of Swords. Don't go overboard with the overly emotional because your person understands you now. That it's not an excuse for you to go on the tirade with the emotions. All right? Seek beauty. What is that about? Ten of Cups. The emperor. I feel like your person, if y'all live together, they may have some ideas about home improvement, about remodeling, okay, about the vacation that the family is going to take. Hear them out, okay? Hear them out. I feel like your person is going to have some great ideas about, you know, the progression of the relationship, okay? Or this is on your side. I feel like you have some emotions or some ideas about the progression of the relationship. Okay? And I feel like I feel like don't go overboard on your emotions. Don't 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 be negative in how you deliver the um vision of how you see the relationship. Mhm. Mm I feel like that you may be seeing it progress beautifully. All right, but I feel like your delivery is going to really make the difference. But I feel like your person really sees your passion about it. I feel like they see that you have a take charge nature, even though it's an emotional nature. Hmm. All right. They might see it as overly emotional. Celebrate the differences. What is this about? Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Yeah, before they were feeling a little left out in the cold. You know, they was feeling, you know, like they couldn't really do anything about how you proceeded in a particular situation. But now they understand. This is just who you are. And it doesn't take away from them. They're still the head of the relationship. Like if you're a girl dealing with the guy. Um, or it could be the feminine energy and the masculine energy. They know that they're still respected. In the relationship, even though, Cancer, you may be overly emotional. <laughs> they still know that they're respected. They just know that it's just who you are. Okay? And then for the show your support, they have transformation and strength. Yeah, that's the tower and the strength card. That's beautiful. All right? Because that's basically saying, um, with the tower card, that's sudden change. Okay, the sudden change. And with the strength card, it's like, listen, <laughs> I feel like my cancer is going to be changeable suddenly. And I just have to be strong through it. It really don't have anything to do with me. You know, I just have to be supportive while my cancer goes through their changes. It doesn't have anything to do with me. It doesn't, it doesn't affect my relationship status, meaning it doesn't boot them out the top spot. Okay, or you guys being in a partnership, it doesn't boot them from their partner status. Okay, they just know that you're a changeable person because of the moon phases or they just realize that you're changeable. All right, I know that it's because, you know, the moon goes through different signs and different phases, which makes the cancer affect different, differently when the moon is in different signs. But, um... Uh, your person understands. And with this uh, devil card here, it says ego. They're being set free. They're being set free because they were wondering, like, what is going on with me? All right? What is going on with me? Also, you guys pulled the page of wands, which is basically, to me, I look at it as the ace of wands or basically the beginning of something new, how we go about our relationship. All right? Your person has been set free knowing that it's not them. Okay, that is you, Cancer, but it's you because of who you are. It's not um, like a character flaw or anything like that. It's just who you are as a person. And they 
understand that. They know it. They love it. They accept it. But your advice here is, Cancer, is don't go overly emotional because your person is understanding of what you go through. Okay? Temper that. So that's what I got for the Cancer today. All right? I hope you all enjoyed this message. If you did, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this resonates with you. So, y'all, this is Brown Bag Tarot, all right? And um, until the next time we get together, good people, I'm encouraging you all to pack light and y'all be cool.